Last year, 34,000 people died of the flu, and so far, thousands more are sick with a new type of flu, the coronavirus. Between the two, we are on course to have one of the worst flu seasons in a decade. Ursula Perry tells us about a team of scientists that have found a new drug that may stop influenza and coronavirus in their tracks. The sneezing, the coughing, and the body aches. <coughs> I couldn't move and I had a high fever of over 100 and that stayed the same for three days. Robert Cox knows firsthand how miserable the flu can be. Now he works at Georgia State University's research team testing a next generation drug against the flu. It's called EIDD2801. The drug works by targeting an enzyme needed to replicate the flu virus in the body. It looks so much like a regular nucleotide to the virus that it can't find a way to distinguish between it and the other ones. Allowing the drug to sneak past the virus and stop it from replicating. So it stops the replication process so the virus cannot produce new genomes that then can be packaged into new viral particles. Some antiviral drugs currently available on the market, such as Tamiflu, have been found to be inefficient against some strains of the influenza virus. But with tests on ferrets, this new drug proves to be effective against all strains. Even after extensive adaptation to, um, to our compound, we could not identify um, uh, any, any resistance mutations. And this drug may even be fast-tracked to combat the coronavirus, which has surpassed 1,500 deaths so far. As promising as all of this sounds, human trials of this new drug will not begin until summer of 2020, so it likely wouldn't be available until the start of the next flu season. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.